project that I undertook was looking at minimising the risk of surgical site infections by improving our credits for cleaning audit compliance. We looked at it from a multidisciplinary project planning team. We process mapped exactly what the concerns were around the credits for cleaning compliance data. We identified several different areas which included obtaining equipment, making standardising equipment, adhering to policies and amending policies to fit the local service that we were providing, but most importantly it was around the credits for cleaning audit tool itself, which was introduced in 2008 by the Westville Assembly Government. Improving quality together helped me um, helped me look uh, at exactly what the problem was and not automatically assume we knew the solution. It enabled me to use tools and methodology which I hadn't used before and um, to become more confident with using those methods and also displaying data. It was my first introduction to process maps, uh, to barriers and aids analysis charts, the ease benefit matrix was extremely helpful in engaging the group um, and also being able to chart it via Pareto charts or bar graphs and being able to do it ourselves, so owning our own data. I think staff need to go into it with a very open mind that actually they will benefit from going back to basics, from learning new ways of doing things and from clarifying exactly what is a process outcome and what's your measure outcome. That, that in itself is critical to getting the success of this project undergoing. The outcome of the project was that we repeatedly for over a two month period achieved 100% in our credits for cleaning compliance. That was very good for staff morale, very good for the environment itself, hopefully correlated with the surgical site infections, but from a patient's perspective it was to reassure them and to confirm that the quality of care and the standard of cleanliness within Royal Gwent Hospital Orthopaedic Theatres is absolutely excellent and best practice.